Hello there. My name's Lewis Lupton from Baltile Adhesives. Um, welcome to your Baltile in A to Z, and today we're going to talk about G for grout. Um, this isn't about um, every grout that Bal does or anybody else's does for that matter. It's just some watch points and things that you should be aware of that's going to help you get the best coloration or the best or the most consistent finish uh, to your grout joint. So clearly it's a topic for debate and how to maintain a consistent colour and finish to the grout. And the first thing or the, the key thing to bear in mind here is that grout's conditional. They will react very differently given the tile type and conditions around it. So I'll give you a couple of, exa of examples as how that might change. So a grout being used on a porous ceramic metro tile on a wall in a nice warm house, uh, what you're going to likely see is the, the grout dry nice and quickly in the joint. It's going to wash off easily on the tile face as well because it's glazed and you're going to be able to finish the joint a little bit quicker and leave the joint nice and full too. Now the very same grout from the very same bag will behave very differently when used with a porcelain textured wood plank effect tile for example on a cold floor in the very same house. In the second example, it's likely to see the grout will remain wetter for longer, although you may see a haze or a bloom appear on the tile face, for, for which is meant for many of us, is which is the point where we would start to then wash off. But unfortunately, it can be a little bit too soon, and this can remove grout from the joint, creating a concave finish to the grout as it hasn't fully set. Um, and of course, that leaves places for water to pool if you're a bit heavy handed with water, and again, causing localised um, dilution. On floors, we also tend to apply grout to larger areas, which means that by the time we go back to start removing excess grout, it's become ingrained in the tile, causing to again use more water to wash, again hollowing out joints potentially, and again causing localized dilution or indifferent dilution in the in the in the grout in the joint. In the second example, um, is a typical installation that the industry sees, and all too commonly. Uh, it can affect the consistent coloration of a cement based grout. So what, what can you do to avoid potential issues? So um, first thing will be to always make sure the adhesive used to fix the tiles is fully set or cured. And obviously in the case of ready mixes, it's a minimum of 24 hours, not the same day uh, and not 24 hours as the be all and end all. It's a minimum of 24 hours. So always be aware of things like that. Or look at the bag, for example, if it's a standard set, it could be 16, it could be six, if it's something like the Flex 1 from BAL, uh, but always be aware of the set times of the, of the manufacturer's adhesive. Be aware of the conditions and the situation, such as the weather, tile type, or even water temperature. Use clean trowels, floats, and clean buckets. Be consistent with the with the uh, amount of water that you're going to use to mix the grout with, as in, di in different uh, waters, uh, amounts can again dilute in different colours, and you can almost see um, the coloration change from mix to mix. Um, can or should the stone or tile be sealed prior to installation to prevent the grout from curing too quickly in the face or becoming ingrained? Uh, would temporary tile protection such as a bowel protective sealer prevent overworking and overwashing? Um, only apply grout to manageable areas. Always use a clean or new sponge with minimal amounts of water to remove excess grout from the tile face, wiping across the face at 45 degrees when you do so, which will help you leave a nice full joint too. Always then allow the grout to set in the joints and then finally sponge finish, working with the joint in the direction of the joint to create a consistent finish. But only once the grout was fully set or cured, which is normally the next day, should you then thoroughly clean the installation down. Because occasionally you may need specialist cleaners to aid this process, which if the grout hasn't set, you may again start to damage or again over dilute the grout. But as the grout hasn't set, even if you are using specialist cleaners, it generally shouldn't be an issue as long as you follow the guidance from the manufacturer of the cleaning product. Finally, seal all your perimeters and abutments with um, sealants, of which many manufacturers like BAL do have matching grout and silicon uh, combinations such as Micromax 2 and Micromax silicons. So no need to put grout into places where it shouldn't be, such as internal corners or abutments against timber and things like that. As always, we're on hand to help you get the best from your grouts and indeed all of your BAL products when on site, in your home, um, wherever you need us in the UK, we'll be there with our training and technical team, our sales representatives, and we've even got our technical advisory service at its office base as well from 8 till 5. Uh, feel free to call us on 01782 or visit us on www.bal-adhesives.com. Many thanks.